Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to make yin yang symbol in CorelDRAW. So let's get started. First, select the ellipse tool, drag it and press the control key. Hold the control key and drag to make a perfect circle. So after making the perfect circle, Control C for copy and Control V for paste. Once you have pasted a new circle, go to scale factor and choose 50, 50. So it reduces the size of the circle to 50%. Now, pick tool, hold the shift key and select the bigger circle and that selects the both circles and now you're going to press B B for bottom and now select this uh, smaller circle again control C control V and again hold the shift key and click on the bigger circle and now T T for top so you get this kind of um, shape and now you're going to uh, pick or select the smart fill tool what it does is uh, you know, it fills the different parts uh, it's fills, uh, it fills the different parts uh, separated by uh, the outlines now so we're gonna oh uh, click on these areas click and it actually should have I mean it should have uh, filled the the only you know the single side or in this case it should have filled the left side but it uh, it has failed the both uh, both sides, so what we have to do is I go back, Control Z or Control Z. So with the pick tool, we're going to click the smaller circle and drag a little bit, zoom in and drag a little bit upwards, and go to this circle and drag a little bit downwards. Now it should work smart fill tool and fill it okay so that's what we're going to do now the right side the upper circle and the lower circle okay once we have filled now all of uh, them are different figures different mm, objects so with the pick tool we can select the upper uh, circle well, before that, uh, what we're going to do is uh, select this uh, circle and Control C, Control V, and drag it. And we're going to uh, create a smaller circle here. We're going to do s uh, uh, well. Let's do like this. We're going to click here and drag here, and it says center. You can see that. Uh, so after dragging this, you can. What uh, what you're gonna do is uh, right click on your mouse, and it creates a duplicate object. So if you're not sure if this smaller circle is at the center or not, you can click this smaller circle, and then sh with Shift select the s bigger circle and press C and press E and that makes sure that the smaller circle is at the center of this a little bigger circle so for having this thing uh, we're gonna select this circle this circle and this object uh, the right uh, left side with ho uh, holding the shift key select now we have selected this 
upper circle and the uh, face object at the right uh, left side so after selecting both of them we're going to hear weld okay this is weld and we're going to click there uh, this joins these two figures we can same thing with this this circle and this thing at the right holding the shift key select both there weld so it's already made a yin yang symbol so now we we can get rid of the you know the other objects so what we're going to do is select this and uh what we're going to do is select all of the four thing four objects and drag here so we can see the things the uh, the things we draw we drew at the first uh, attempt. Uh, so these are separate things now. Now what we need is only this one. We don't want this thing. We can now delete them. And what we're going to do is uh, uh, we're going to fill them. So this thing should be white. Should uh, so. <coughs> Fill it with white. This one should be black. Okay. It's going to be black. No outline. So, right click on this thing. It's going to be white. Right click on this. Okay. This is already the al already a mm, what a uh, young symbol. Uh, uh, but still, we're going to uh, give some effect on this object now uh, this figure so what I'm gonna do is uh, I sh uh, what I'm gonna now uh, do is uh, click on this thing and I'll give uh, 90 or like 80 percent black not complete black and same thing with this thing 80 percent black and I select all of them and this thing appears create boundary click there and it creates a circle around this uh, those objects you know it makes a new circle around it you can see here so uh, uh, on this new circle what we're going to do is uh, uh, fill it with 80% uh, black or let's say 90 percent, uh, 90 percent black and no outlines. And what we're gonna do is uh, oh, interactive fill tool, or you can do this with the transparency tool and transparency tool. We're going to choose uh, this fountain transparency tool and this one elliptical fountain transparency. So, this is going to be uh, opposite. This transparency is going to be 100%. This one is zero. So, we can rotate it. And what I'm going to do is put the center of the transparency to to this upper part. This gives a kind of 3D effect. What we're going to do is uh, select all of them and click here on this no fill thing. And right click, actually right click on this. So this gives a uh, great look to this thing. Uh, and now we're going to do something. Go layout, page setup, and you 
consider thing add page frame add page frame okay now let's give the frame to the page and uh, uh, it's already behind the yin yang symbol we can give a color to it okay maybe yeah 20 percent black so now what we can do is uh, again go to transparency tool and drag like this so it's giving you a kind of effect fading it back okay and it's already looking great now what we're going to do is uh, click here again and drag and right click uh, this creates a duplicate of the object now we don't need this uh, transparency you know this uh, 3d look so we're just going to the transparency and uh, uh, select no transparency so this is going to be a uh, you know something like this and we're gonna adjust it you can just okay do like this and uh, wh what we're actually going to do is we're not going to put this thing actually uh, at the bottom of this uh, figure what we're going to do is select drop shadow tool and drag it like this and this creates a drop shadow and we can now play with this thing uh, shadow tr uh, shadow feathering so increase it a little bit and shadow transparency okay opacity we're gonna decrease the opacity okay pixel now select the drop shadow that selects both the drop shadow and the object and now we can right click and we can see this uh, okay it doesn't show up so having uh, selected this drop shadow and the object we can go here uh, objects and it says break drop shadow group apart click here and they are separate things now we don't need this object so we're gonna put this drop shadow here at the bottom and we can just select this drop shadow and the circle together and press C so it's now exactly at the bottom of the yin yang symbol so this looks great to me uh, you can still adjust the place transparency tool thing you go to transparency tool and center the you know a little above it and okay okay that looks great So this is how you make a yin yang symbol with a 3D effect. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Okay. See you.